Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Eddie Altman, your PBI instructor. Alright, so here we are at the table and we're using the Tangent Line Finder by Reedy Billiards. I have to give them credit. I've um, been playing around with it and it does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. So um, let me chalk up here. And the position that I have is I put a little uh, paper reinforcement. It's a half a diamond off the side pocket on the long rail and it's center diamond off the short rail. So this is the practice drill that they recommend. The tangent line finder itself, this white device right here, I'll move the one ball out of the way so you can see a little bit better, is aimed. One side says uh, pocket and then we have tangent line out this way, tangent line out that way. So they recommend taking a solid ball, placing it in the center, and then position the cue ball, like I said, right at that reference point. I use the reinforcement so um, I can immediately reset. Now, the tangent line is showing that it's going to go to the second diamond. Remember, pockets count as a diamond, so in, in the directions it says first diamond, but technically that's the second diamond. I put a piece of chalk there as a reference point, um, and again, you could do the same coming up this way, coming up to the other end of the table, if your cue ball was, let's say, in this position. So, for the purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, so, we're shooting into the side pocket. It's telling me that this is my tangent line. So, my cue ball should follow down that line, and that's if I hit medium speed, and center cue ball. So let's go ahead and take a shot and see how close we can get. That's pretty much dead on. I was about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch to the left of that short cue ball. So let's go ahead and take this. I'm going to zoom in so you get a better look at this. So here's a little better close-up of this shot. And I'm hitting within an inch of that chalk. So that's pretty decent. I'll set up another shot. And it's great using those little paper reinforcements. It's so quick to reset. And that was just about dead on, a little bit to the left of the chalk. All right, so I set this up again, same shot, just gonna try to break that cluster up. Save the four ball and break that cluster up. Now that breakup was much better, but it's not even in the game. So, the tangent line finder, by Reedy Billions. I have to say, it's an excellent product. It's a great training aid for beginners, even up to intermediate. All right, so again, here we are with another cluster. I want to break up this 14-8. My eight ball's up against the rail. Um, I'm going to sink the four ball corner pocket. Again, I put my tangent line finder with the arrow that says pocket, obviously towards the pocket. Show me my tangent line should go into this rail right here. So again, remember, medium speed, center cue ball. Alright, so right now the way I have it set up, I'm going to shoot the six ball in the side pocket. It's telling me that my tangent line from where my cue ball is 
If I follow that out, I'm going to pretty much scratch or come close to scratching. So let's go ahead and see. Scraps right in exactly what it said. So again, this tool is to help you understand what your tangent line is, how to avoid those scratches. So, so it's basically self-explanatory. Object ball goes in the center. Put the arrow that says pocket, it's the short arrow, obviously, towards the pocket. And then it shows you what your tangent line would be. So my object ball is in the center. If I was to hit make contact with obviously my object ball and sink it, then it shows the path that the cue ball would take. It's very important to know your cue ball path.